So check it out. A year or two ago, I converted a couple of Mark C7s to E9s, and then I painted them in Canadian National livery. I removed the side square windows and also the side number boards. Uh, we made some decals. The uh, CN logo is uh, micro scale. I think they're HO scale. Uh, we also put 19 volt LEDs in the headlights. We also put uh, clear plastic in the windshield as well as the uh, side cab uh, windows. And I finally got around to painting some passenger cars. I had some Mark's originals that needed to be cleaned up. They were pretty well rusted. So I sandblasted them and cleaned up the wheels. And I also made the, uh, the window inserts for each car. I used Mark's originals that I scanned. And then I printed them out on vellum paper. And then covered them with a couple of uh, coats of uh, Mod Podge clear gloss. Just to preserve them. So we can take a look at the uh, passenger cars. There's a diner. The Greenwich Diner car. Also have a uh, short Vista dome, a moonlight dome. And the dome on this one had some damage to it. So I repaired the damage and then I took a black uh, Sharpie paint pen and outlined all the, the struts and everything in it, which covered the uh, damage really nicely. And then, of course, there's the full length Vista dome. I think that's pronounced Athabasca. And I made the, I put some clear uh, vellum paper there. And I also made uh, the upper um, window inserts again using Mark's originals and scanning them and printing them out on vellum paper. Then the observation car was most fun. I cut a hole for a Vista dome for it. And I named it Trinity. Uh, it's one that I found on there. Of course, Trinity, you know me. If I can glorify the Lord, I'm going to do it. And so, I also, again, used um, the black Sharpie paint pen to outline the strutting area. This dome I actually made myself. I, we made a mold, and we poured some clear resin. And clear resin is a little hard to work with because there's a lot of bubbles in it. But we also, by outlining it, it covered a lot of that up. And then we have a, uh, we drilled a hole in it and put a rear uh, E7 headlight lens in it so that we have a trailing red light. And of course, we made a drum head. So we'll take it for a few laps and you can check it out. The short Vista Dome's a little blinky, but that will clear up with a little running. There was a lot of rust on these cars. I tried to clean most of it off and put new uh, rivets to hold the wheels on just so we'd get um, better contact. Pick up the camera so we can chase the the uh, observation car. So you can see the rear light on it again. That's a 19 volt LED too from Evan Designs. All right, such a beautiful train. I love that paint scheme. So I'm glad I finally got around to painting some nice Canadian National passenger cars for it. So thanks again for watching. God bless and never forget, Jesus is Lord.